Guys, in this video I will pair a GTX 1060 with an AMD Athlon from 2005. I thought it will be fun to see the results. Let's see how it performs in gaming. First of all, the processor is a dual core with a frequency of 3.2 GHz and it looks exactly the same as a Ryzen but with different labeling. For other areas, it's not capable. I tried Premiere Pro for fun and believe me, it wasn't fun at all. Loading took forever when I tried to open a project but didn't want to wait to load the files. It was such a waste of time. Let's start with Cinebench. The score is 130 points and 42 FPS on 1080p. 3D Mark was so bad with 20 FPS and a score of 0. Basically, the program just crashed. Moving on, on Unengine Superposition at 720p low settings was 45 FPS on average and 1080p on medium settings was 37 FPS. To conclude, that's all the results from benchmarks. Let's make some real gaming tests with actual games. If we hit 60 FPS in 1080p in low settings, it will be huge with this old CPU. I tested some games and they are the following. Tekken 7, Yoka Laili and Overwatch. In Tekken 7 on 1080p low settings we hit 57 FPS. I was surprised, that's so good. Moving to Yoka Laili, a 3D platform game in 1080p low settings you have some areas with 60 FPS or more and on the more demanding areas 48 FPS. The game was playable for me and I enjoyed it. Next is Overwatch. Overwatch is a CPU demanding game as you can see. CPU was at 100% of the time. In 1080p in low settings was running at 26 FPS and on 720p low settings was able to squeeze a couple frames only. That was the video guys. Results are impressive for that old CPU in some games. Was a fun experiment and what I want you to have in mind for gamers on budget is that GPU is the most important piece than other parts. All the games were on a mechanical drive and 4GB DDR2 was the total RAM. If you liked the video leave a like because it helped a lot. See you on the next one.